Hey, is that better? Like, do you still see me as a frozen person? Oh, it's much smooth stream. Okay, I, th I think I changed the bit rate. I also changed um, what other option, like the encoding option. Yeah, I don't know like what I choose before and I just changed to another option. So it must be something going on with the encoding, decoding stuff. So yeah, let's see how that works. So f we can take this stream to another level later on. So yeah, moving back to my office room is definitely feeling good. And we will start doing these stabilizers. Okay. I probably chop out some people around this one just because I didn't tell them I need to restart. But yeah, I hope this is doing better. Okay, I still see some problem. Uh, yeah, I still have some skipped frame, dropped frame. So not like totally nailed. But yeah, we will see how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't know the stats of that. Yeah, I believe what you see, that's the most important part. Cool, so we are going to build this uh, yellow voice, 65%. And I don't know how close this is to uh, the Vega board. People are treating that as the baseline. And this is definitely something that um, costs quite a fortune, like uh, $300, $400 as well. So it's not like very cheap alternative. It's more like a readily available option that if you don't want to spend $600 on Vega today and you still have this option to buy in stock, whether you should get it, try. But anyway, the in stock drop already finished. So if you haven't get that, you are probably paying some aftermarket for that. Okay, looks like the, st the stream is doing good so far. I hope this setting will be sustainable one that I don't need to change it next. So are you getting off work today that you just need to stay at home? So I still haven't decided what keycaps to put on for this voice. Although uh, it's up to client to decide what to put on later, but I want to definitely have a good sound test on the stream. So I prepared uh, several GMK keycaps option. And I think my favorite could be uh, the Ghost Beat because Ghost Beat is yellow, blue, and creamy white. So maybe it's a good option on this keyboard. And currently it's on my Meridian, so I probably will need to get it from that keyboard as well. Okay, since the streaming quality looks better now, let me see if I should play some music. Okay, rookie mistake. Opposite side stabilizers, you cannot use it like this one. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Let's see. So we have this PCB. I need to definitely clean up my hands before using the stabilizers. 
installing on that. So we first will have the return key or the enter key. Like it should be called return or enter. I don't remember. Yeah, probably on the MacBook it's called return, but on PC it's called enter. this works we need a washer so it can stop from any potential electric shots you know when I might uh, buy this bag for a hundred of washers I was like there's no way I can use all of them and it could be wrong soon I feel like I'm running out of the watchers soon enough. Well, I need my <laughs> screwdriver. So yes, the yellow one is the one I'm building. So I need my screwdriver, be right back. Let's see. So if you were using this board with the yellow color, what keycaps will you put? Because I'm not the person who will use a yellow board, so I don't really know this answer. Yeah, maybe that's the simplest way of doing because it just like popped the color out. You don't really need to color match, right? Okay. Yeah, black on white. Okay. Apparently I have one coming as of now because I had a client who also want that keycaps. So probably I will just use that one because I need to test that key perhaps with the keyboard anyway. Yeah, I feel like I've been buying the black and white for like maybe five, six times now. I probably should just have them in stock all the time because they are so popular that it can fit almost any keyboard as long as it's a colorful one. I mean, if it's not colorful one, it's still a nice option because it's so clean. And uh, the only GMK option you will find is the GMK Minimal and it's still not finished yet. So the other choice you have right now is probably just this uh, EPBT black and white. So I probably will stock up. So whenever people want that keycap set with their keyboard, they will just have it. So I think they restock on some websites, but still like very limited. So if you don't catch this 
time, you'll probably have to wait four months as well. I think the divinity have it. Prime KB never stuck such keycaps. Yeah, I like the divinity. They ship so fast and they have so many options right now. Like even for the keyboard like Tofu 65, you can buy it. I feel like every time when I stream on the build, I have the fat finger. It doesn't really happen when I'm just doing it on my own. <laughs> yeah, like when you stream, you just have your brain stops. Hey! Hope you are doing well. I'm building this voice keyboard. And I think I will build a Space 65 tomorrow night. And what what's next? There's a Tofu keyboard coming as well. Yeah, I feel like over the weekdays, when you build things, it probably gets a little bit more traffic than over weekend because when I tried over weekend, there's not much p traffic going on. Okay. I hate when my screwdriver doesn't really um, get magnetic. Yeah, I, I remember it used to be. I don't remember why it's not magnetic on this screw anymore. Yeah, I think the screwdriver head may have some degradation afterwards. Oh, okay. I don't think I have that one block, uh, little block thing. Okay, maybe I should take a look on my box to see what's available there. Yeah, it's definitely getting much worse now. I probably spent so much time to get the initial screwing. Yes, yeah, I, I am really glad that I have so many boards lining up that I don't worry about like running out of boards to build while I'm waiting for my beer. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You want to get something to do before you finally get that board. Okay, so the old technique or the new technique plug the butt to add some more loop okay but anyway i probably don't need to add too much because for this keyboard it's hot swap so if i end up doing really bad job which i don't think i will do i can still fix it later but yeah sometimes you spend some time on the um, stream to make it work then after using a while it's just getting worse and you have to do it again or maybe just fix it so whatever you saw on stream may not be the final result that's why i always try to like use it for one day or two and see if like it immediately wear out and i need to add more loop or just like fix some other parts
yeah but i really wish i can start getting some prototype so that you know like the content could be more uh, novel it's not like okay you're getting a keyboard everyone probably already have and those are the dream for streamer i believe okay so we get uh the stabilizers next up we need to test it so we will have some keycaps to test well you know what since i got the black and white from the packaging i probably just grab the package from outside my door and unbox that Okay, so I get this big box from Divinity. Yeah, that's what we were saying where you can get these keycaps. No, it's not from Prime K. Uh, Prime K. So uh, the Prime KB package definitely delayed and the reason being they are, they are in Texas yeah if you heard about Texas they cannot do anything right now so I won't be so surprised about that like the order delay or anything so this is the black and white yeah I feel like at this point for any Texas package you should just assume it has indefinite delay okay let's try all the stabilizers key Yeah, the thing is like if it's getting out from it, then you have no way to uh, redirect it. But otherwise, it probably uh, makes sense to do it differently. Okay, so let's try this PC plate and see how it sounds with the stabilizers. And we have this uh, lavender switches.
Okay, let's see how the stabilizer is set. So Canon key sold out, but project keyboard still have plenty left, I believe. And also what's good for Lavender Switch on project keyboard, they are free shipping. So basically you don't need to grab a lot of things to save some shipping. You can just uh, buy as you go, but I bet they will sold out soon-ish as well. Yeah, I think I have a big bag of Lavender Switches for my client and also myself. So if you hear the sounds, yeah, let me pause music for a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely deeper sound than Aparka switches. Which is what I really like about Lavender switch. So you don't really get the bad type housing like Gateron Ink. And also you still have the smoothness of JWK switches. And at the end of the day, it's all nylon. So it's definitely uh, deeper sound than the regular JWK switches. Yeah, I think the Lavender switches are my new favorite on the JWK series. Are probably even better than JWK switches because, uh, I mean, better than the Ink Black because Ink has so much inconsistency. Okay, so the next step, uh, let me follow that build guide. Um, okay, I think the build guide is just a little bit too much and out of order. Middle case, okay, so many stuff. Okay, plate tries, we have PC plate and we want to Install the program PCB form. Okay, this is the one. Why not use the Seacom? Okay, anyway, that's probably a different situation. So let's do this one, maybe. Okay, so we have this program. And installing the silicon mute pad in this picture facing up. Oh, it's actually. Oh, okay. So there's two way, uh, two form. One is the silicon, and other is the pro. So for. I think for PC plate, I will probably just use the Proron because it's less stiff and for gasket, uh, for silicon, it's probably stiffer. So, and install the spacebar pad insulation. Like, do we need that? This might not work with some non-NC bottom row between PCB and plate. Okay, so let's just put it there. Okay, what's the direction? So that's like the plate. Okay, why we have this shape? So you will see this spacebar platform we have this insert and whether we should do that 
upside down or this direction. Okay, so the problem is not problem. Like this is for matching this one. But I don't think we will need to use that. Yeah, so probably we just put it like this one and put back everything here. And then, yeah, I think it's getting there. We need to install the switch. Okay, it's very easy to remove that later on. So you just need to put it from the side, then it's there. I think it's a nice touch, like it's optional and also you can take it out easily. Actually not that easy, <laughs> yeah, but maybe it's easy to remove it uh, if you have some other tool, but it's easy to slide in later on if you forget about that. Okay, so I have the right anchor for the switch, then let's just adding all the switches in. Yeah, I don't think I have I don't think I have all the lavender looped yet, so probably I will just put all the lavender on the alpha area and I will loop them off stream. So we will probably even be able to compare some other boards with this one. So especially maybe like a Hmm, actually I don't know which board I want to compare. Okay, so let's use this one to support at the bottom. So it didn't really ruin my desk mat, but also supporting the hot swap socket. We don't need the loop, we just need to install all the switches. Okay, it dropped out again. I will probably do it later. Yeah, Project Keyboard, a secret plate that you can still get the lavender switch. Don't tell anybody, otherwise I will fail to get some for my next client. Yeah, just kidding. Yeah, feel free to spread words. I feel like the world need to know where to get lavender. And also, I believe Kenanki will definitely restock those because they are so popular. Yeah, good switches like Aparka lavender should just get constant restock all the time. Yeah, I think for Aparka, Prime KB's goal is to be able to like restock it like for a really long time so that you don't really run out of stock and whenever uh, it's out of stock again or even like close to out of stock they will just order from JWK that they don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I think the line like tactile is definitely a good tactile switch if you want to find good one and also good looking. Yeah, the only thing I wonder is if you were uh, building an uh, RGB keyboard, like like tactile is not, you know, transparent housing, so it won't really shine through. And for this one, it's actually uh, a little bit transparent and it's a RGB. Actually, I don't even see a lot of high-end gas key mount keyboard has RGB option. So this must be interesting one for people who want RGB. Okay, I need to speed up a little bit. Because 
because I probably need to cook the dinner on six something. Yeah, I spent so many time on figuring out how the stream setup should be better and I think Miss Frosty you helped me a lot to be able to stream in a good quality. Well I won't say this is very good quality but it's actually at least better than my previous setup that it didn't really work. So yeah, thank you for the help. To check if this band pin it's very easy to have band pin yeah so this is a pc plate yeah it's a band pin yeah i can tell from the sound when i insert that but it's better than like making the socket pop out So for PC plate, it sounds a little bit more muted and also lower pitch and maybe people call it socky sounds and I don't disagree. Penguin, yeah, I have it. Uh, I feel like they are pretty much the nicest ergo clear options you can get right now but also I think um, wait what happened here yeah so the other option you can have is the taro ball from Canon Keith and yeah, if you don't really like the tactility of T1 switches or Holy Panda, I feel like that's a good option to try. Yeah, I feel like I probably will choose Taro Ball for the color option because I have GMK Taro to match it. And I don't have penguin keycaps yet. I don't know if there will be any. So that could be an option. Okay, you know what? I probably just get uh, the lavender switch from my other boards. It might be quicker. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Penguin Mizu, but I only have Cat Mizu, and I don't know if they will come in soon-ish right now, it's just because of all the key creative, um, like remodeling, or their improvement of their double shot. I don't even think Cat Mizu were producing at this moment yet. And also, you have you seen the Iki 68? Aurora and they have the Mizu version. I'm actually attempt to get one Because it has like the hot swap version which has even like split backspace And I'm super interested to know like how they are doing that It's like an innovative thing because a lot of times when people saying about 
the trade off for hot swap is about the layout. And if for hot swap you can support almost all the combinations, then why not? Yeah, so I'm planning to build my uh, KFECE with aluminum plate and penguin switches then pair with the GMK Taro because it's a purple weight and purple plate and then I realized okay we have Taro Taro ball switches which is better color match with all the purple stuff so I'm like okay do I need Taro ball switch I mean they are technically the same as penguin switch but a little bit high like heavy weight heavier weight so not exact same because I choose the 63.5 for penguin but yeah I'm just like really attempt to do all the purple same in once with taro ball and taro on a white pink a white purple KFE yeah, I feel like that will be a good option but that means I need to loop another 90 switches which I already did for my penguin switch so that's always the trade-off if they come out earlier I probably don't need to worry about this one no anything SP stars I haven't because I think they were in the Chinese community for a while and they always uh, were some option but not like uh, you know like mainstream or just like optimal solution people still get Aparka as their linear and Holy Panda as their tactile so I didn't really see it's a huge like trending of moving to our SP stars but they actually have good color theme for certain like matching keycaps so that may be a good way of running like when you have um, a keycap set you also have a matching okay. switch yeah it's like a parka for bliss right but i don't think that's like super advertised right now yeah i remember uh they have the SP star for that Enjoy PBT keycaps. I don't remember the name though. Oh, <laughs> interesting. This one has super band pin at the moment i don't even know if i can recover it probably i won't use it now yeah i feel like for switches once you have the disorder gun you only need to one buy one pack each then you just like disorder your keyboard try new switch disorder your keyboard try new switch that's the cycle after you get enough keyboards but there's not always a chance that you get enough keyboards because there's always better keyboards and I'm excited to know how the Jackie next elephant sound look like yeah I think he mentioned to me about like the potential of 60% but I don't think that's a solid stuff until I really see it cool let me just put this space bar form insert here okay yeah it you can still put it in I hope I don't know I feel like Jackie definitely wants some traffic and I don't have enough traffic and I wish I can get enough track traffic for before he run prototype but yeah, after all, 
I'm fine with all the E7 V2 prototype, even that's been built by Minkly before, because you get to have longer time to try it out when bigger streamer already use that. But actually, Minkly really want to do another like review video, so I probably will send that back to him to her. Maybe not send because uh, she also live in Bay Area. So probably just drop off pick up. But yeah, excited to see how she will make another review video because I feel like she's making a good video nowadays. Okay, I don't know if I can fix this band pin. Probably let's forget about that. Cool, so let's go back to the guide. No standoffs, I don't need that. Okay, I think now it's time to open up the case. If you're tired, take your time to have a rest. You know what? There's always tomorrow's speeds. Okay, so let's turn back and try to find the matching. Yeah, I, I think like during the COVID-19 time, it's hard to just meet somebody and try to talk. Yeah, the last time when we hand off uh, the E7 prototype, we just like barely talk. We just hand over the key keyboard and then that's it because you don't want to get the chance to spread the COVID. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm super lucky to have my girlfriend with me the whole time. So first I don't really get bored. We have tons of topic to discuss about. Okay, these are all the screws. So this is what we want to put aside. And let's see the installation guide for Yeah, so we have this, well, the intermediate. Okay, actually it's interesting to see that you need to unscrew again on this one because you will have to insert the gasket in between. So it's an inter level to hold the plate. Then you can basically swap out the back case without worrying about like giving any space for the kick uh, the plate.
Okay, so it's unscrewed and I don't want to have any missing screws so for this step take it easy okay so far so good the next thing Okay, we have the accessory bag with all the front gas kit. And this is what you see after installation. They will, they're very stick. We have a long to, okay, reference point. So this is the reference. back of the top case stick the shoulder on the shoulder okay so this is the shoulder so we just put it on the shoulder side yeah, i don't think this is shorter enough i feel like it's a larger than the gap here let's see when we put it back whether it can close or not okay yeah it's not that bad yeah it has the right cut out yeah and I, I don't think it's a big problem if you line up not perfectly stick to the bottom and lean on the wall first use your tweezer to push in Stick to the bottom and lean on the wall first. Use your tweezer to push in. Put one of the plates on the back of the top case with gasket installed. Right side silicon ceiling is diffuser. Okay, yeah, so basically when we put back on this one, we will actually have it sit on top of the gasket. Hey, welcome. Yes, so what happened to your tofu? that I got your package just right now so it will be not not your package um, actually I don't know how to pronounce your name it's all Korean and yeah he's my new client for this tofu board. Max, okay, Max. Now I remember, I should ask you the first time we met so I can easily say your name. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, tofu 65 is Max case, uh, Max keyboard. And we have a good choice of everything acrylic or PC so it's sock here sound and we have chosen the cream switch nice yeah I think Alpine 65 might have some extras unless I'm wrong Yeah, I don't think they are selling out like immediately. And they are definitely need some extras to make sure 
whatever they produce, uh, like a stock for the existing customer. And Alpine 65 is also a very popular gasket mount keyboard out there during time they are selling. I think Teha made one build stream for that, but he didn't really like the arrow cluster. Nice. Okay, this is the short one. So they will have extras in Discord? Yeah. Sometimes I just don't enter too many Discord server for all the bots that I'm interested because if that's the case, I probably will buy too much. So it just by the luck that I have, whatever I can get. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like a lot of times, it's just so many notifications here and there. Let me check my message. Yeah, nothing. I don't really mute the Discord announcement server uh, like channel because I'm afraid of missing out the drops. Okay, so we install the gasket on the top case. The next up is the bottom case. So not uh, not bottom case, it's actually the mid frame. So for mid frame, we also have the shot gasket. This is not really like cheaper alternative. This is like a more readily available if you want to spend uh, three, four hundred dollars on a gasket mount board. But if you were buying Vega at the time, you probably have to spend like six hundred, seven hundred dollars. That's why it's kind of the alternative cheaper, but it's technically not because for the GB price, Vega is also just like three hundred twenty nine dollar. Yeah, this one like it has the rotary and also the RGB. So actually, it's not a bad deal if you get this one instead of uh, Vega. Yeah, and the rotary. Yeah, interestingly, like Vega didn't really use daughter bots, even though I think for AI Austri, he tried to push the standard of daughter bot. And I, I believe for V2 of Polarize or V2 of Vega, it will be daughter bot after all. Yeah, the daughter board problem is that you could have one more part to broke. And that happened to my E7 V2 prototype. Yeah, like basically the daughter board of the prototype is not the best quality. And I end up losing some functionality of the daughter board. <laughs> So it ended up of like failing for the whole functional role. And then I basically used my E7 V2 prototype as a 65% because without the function role, it basically is same as the 65%. So now I won't call it E7 V2 prototype. It's actually E6.5 prototype. Actually, I wish they have a E6.5 V2. Cool, we installed gasket. So the next step will be very close to any other gasket mount board. 
So we have this one. We put our plate here. So we make sure we align them correctly. And then we install that back. Actually, because we have the We have the mid frame. Probably it's better to just like use the mid frame to align our plate. Yeah, so basically you can align this plate easily, then you can kind of like use your top case to close that. Yeah, it's very light that I can use my hand to do that. Okay, so installing the screw is another thing. Yeah, let's just align that first. It actually had a little bit excess form here. Wait a second. Oh. Sorry, it's not earthquake, it's just like I definitely kick my setup off my camera. Okay. So this is a Voice 65 and the one on top is a, a HHKB Polarize. I need to take a little bit more care on installing this one because we have a little bit excess uh, form on the plate. Plate form. So yeah, let me do the keyboard command. Is that a command? Okay. I type it wrong. <laughs> Key. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we get things together, then we need to screw back in. So this step here is to enclose the inside and then we will basically sandwich the gasket, sandwich the plate with the gasket. And at this step you don't really need to like you know try manual screwing because you don't want to over tighten. Thank you for the follow, Vincent. Hey, how are you doing? What are you watching other than my stream here? I was always wondering like, do people jump in between streams? Because sometimes I just like open two or three then if even like big streamer were working on uh, a keyboard but they were just like looping steps or maybe looping the switches i probably just chime in to the smaller streamer who were building some interesting board thank you which board are you talking the hhkb polarize or the one i'm building for my client Okay, so we need to basically connect the daughter board. Okay. 
So this is the daughter board for the row tree. So we need to connect the other part of the daughter board. <laughs> okay, yeah, just look at this one. Okay, so some cable management is needed here based on the guides. Okay, let's see the section 2002. That's the guide I'm referencing right now. Pushed edge together using the nail of index and some finger. Okay. Nail of finger. Okay, I feel like it's a little bit hard. So for this keyboard, I think the price for it during uh, in stock buy is around 350 yeah I may be wrong um, I may be just like forget about that why 65 cents so it's in stock and yeah let me paste the link here so the price is 329 very close to the Vega group by price. Okay, with the, you can see it here, we have the screws for the stabilizers. Then you have this GST connector. It's actually harder to make it connect at this point. Yeah, you need some patience and also some way to figure out. So what keyboard for $500 do you recommend if I have 65% tofu? Uh, so for 65%, like I will just recommend getting the next upcoming group buy under 500 bucks, and most of the keyboard will be under 500 bucks, unless it's from aftermarket. And I don't think you should really get a aftermarket keyboard if you don't know what. Um, your preference is because sometimes it just inflated price of the exclusivity yeah the savage 60 uh, 65 is definitely a great board to enter okay really vega is getting sub 500 yeah i thought it's still like 600 dollar some cable management yeah okay it's done do i do up 
this side. Yeah, maybe this side. Well, nice. Four to five bigger. I feel like that's even like the in-stock price. Okay, let's quickly test it out to see if it's working. Okay, we have the RGB light working and we have this volume knob, our rotary works. Yeah, I can definitely get it muted, uh, make it super loud. Okay, so it's actually working fine and we just need to put back the bottom case. Yeah, green is definitely less popular, but if you like green and you have matching keycaps, it's a perfect choice. Like USA or Camping. Yeah, this is Geek Cable. Yeah, Tofu is still very good entry board for what is worth. Like, I think it's solid quality and it offers in stock options most of the time. So it's not likely there will be any replacement of Tofu unless it keeps restocking that and you have to have huge capital like KBD fans. Okay. So we can see this keyboard. Has the insert. So it's actually a black insert with a rotary and also the black weight. Also it's like aluminum weight. So we have the lavender switches. So we are putting the keycaps on. So for what what is simple, let's just put on the black and white. Okay, got. I should know that could happen. H K gaming or uh, MKPBT. None of those two. So this is the Indrive PBT and GOG collaboration black and white. Yeah, I wish I can get Geekark easily. Yeah, I feel like they have a really like a cheap price with good enough quality, but it's just not available in US and uh, I, I was eyeing on the newer PBT keycaps of Triangle which is basically designed by Geon and I really like that because I can touch type and the Triangle is f like very design-like Using PC with my Aparka on Tofu 65 would sound good. So for Aparka, it sounds nice on a lot of plates, especially on FR4 plate. That's what I really like. And uh, it's because it sometimes like feels clackier, but for like a PC plate, yeah, it definitely sounds good as well but my new favorite is the lavender switches so maybe have a try and PC definitely sucky or like a lower pitch not louder than brass plate okay let me reply a message okay I I probably can use this to reply Okay, 
I did totally wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's quickly put it together. I can already feel the flex. Yeah, I, th I think this is more flex than I expect because the other day I built the keycard number one with PC plate and ink black, and I don't I don't really feel like such flex. I mean, it's definitely a preference. Sometimes you like the flex, sometimes you don't. You just want the gas key mount to kind of dampen the echo or dampen the sound that uh, the plate touch the case but sometimes you really want the flex so it all depends on what type of gas key mount you really want sometimes it's what you want and sometimes you want the other type okay Yeah, I think the beer PC plate will be super flex. Because it's so white that it's hard to it's hard to maintain that like stiff or not stiff but like tight feeling as 60%. Okay. Yeah, taking out the form on tofu is definitely easier than taking out the form from your polarized because that's already soldered in. <laughs> I don't really have a better idea than you. I think I only try to like sourcing the Stabilizers because for stabilizers I need five to use for the hot swap PCB and I want to get a good looking one to match my keycaps so that's the thing and I end up like doing the tangerine but then later on I learned tangerine are not the best sound regarding like if you want lower pitch it's not lower pitch enough it's actually very high pitch and I'm just trying to know my preference along the time so I end up not decided and probably just leave as many possibilities as possible okay let me turn off the music yeah I just like have so many switches right now that I can put all switches into beer and show the difference <laughs> cool let's put my microphone next to the keyboard and okay monkey type yeah i have to go soon so i probably just do two parts of the typing okay yeah so we turn on the rgb light so you can see a little bit and we have this rotary that can work and I don't know if it will shine through from here so this is the voice 65% built with lavender switches on PC plates and um, the keycaps are in PBT GOG black and white
Yeah, I feel like maybe we should add uh, a little bit more loop on the space bar. Yeah, so right now it's a little bit louder and also, yeah, I won't say it's like rattling, but could definitely sound deeper with a little bit more loop. And also we didn't really use the case form because I want to test out without case form. And maybe we should do another one with the case form. Yeah, it should be really quick to drop in the case form by unscrewing the case. So it's only eight case, uh, eight screws, so not a huge trouble to do it. Yeah, actually, I like the sound of lavender switches. They are not like as deep as black ink, but they are not as clogged as uh, alpaca or tangy. So it's actually on the really good middle ground where I find like it's a good trade-off between the smoothness easy to obtain and also like the sound signature. Okay, so let's do, okay, which side? Interesting, probably this one. Good question, which three, three, three. Okay, definitely this one. <laughs> Sorry, I should make sure I don't really hit the mic. <laughs> That's the Extent of the streaming. Sorry about that. So yeah, now I add the form, the case form below the PCB and let's see how it sounds afterwards. Okay, so the previous round was without the case form and this time it's with the case form. And I will bet there's some difference. So let's take another pass. Okay, one thing is the microphone will block what I see on the monkey type. So it's not really easy to see what I'm typing. Let me make the window appear on this side so it's easy. Okay, so this time it's still the Vice 65% built uh, with lavender switches on PC plate. And this time we have both the platform and case four. Here's the mod sound. Yeah, 
yeah i feel like this is definitely not bad at the price they are selling especially for the in-stock option and if you really enjoy the aesthetic of that it could be a great option for you to grab if they have another run and when you don't have a vega to pick up and i don't know if i want to compare to the other board i have but just like a little bit different sound signature but yeah it's hard to say like uh, it's a fair comparison so uh, this is lavender switch on pc with gas key mount and both play form and case form And this is the polarized also gasket mount um, Alpaca on FR4 half plate. Yeah, you can definitely hear the difference. Yeah, I definitely need more loop on the space bar. Yeah, so you can definitely hear the clucky and i actually like the polarize and okay another board to compare maybe it's similar some profile yeah so basically this is the uh, kick out number one i built last time uh with black ink ink black v2 switch So both are gasket mounts and both are PC plate. And one is lavender switches we just built today, and the other one is uh, the ink black switches. So let's hear the different sound. And this one is the ink black. Yeah, so if you look at how flex these two boards are, like in uh, the key card doesn't really flex too much. It's mostly just like the gasket mount to stop it from like making any aluminum case sound. And for uh, this voice, yeah, you can see a lot of flex when you like push it down. Okay, maybe we should. Okay, hope I don't drop this keyboard on my key card. Yeah, so you can see. Like this side. Yeah, can definitely feel the flex. Okay, as long as I don't drop that, it's fine. So for kick out, it doesn't really flex. <laughs> cool, yeah, I think overall if you were thinking about like getting a gasket mount keyboard and if you find like even aftermarket price is not that bad for this voice 65 cents yeah i would say i kind of like how it provides like both the functionality of the rotary and also uh, not that hard to build 
regarding how Gatsky Mount keyboard is, especially the lineup of the intermediate and and the typing feeling is actually pretty flex, much better than what I heard from like the D65. And especially like on the functionality, like the RGB lights, as well as the road free. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good buy if you were trying to buy from in stock job or if you get not a lot of markup from off the market. Probably you want to put all the form here to make this nice sound and yeah let's see how it sounds without form and with some comparison video later cool i think i have to go and thank you for tuning in the stream and i probably will build another keyboard tomorrow so make sure you follow if you uh, want to see that actually it's not a new keyboard it's a space 65 and I will probably have other boards to build later. Thank you. See you next time.